What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Spawning in the right side of the map of the blue color, playing as Gaia. His name is Punkstar. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Thor. His name is Lukey Macro. His name is Lukey Macro. The map is what? The map is what? The map is watering hole. This is overhaul patch. Overhaul patch means throw out all of your preconceptions about what you think this game is about and then join in with the fun because it's a very, very different type of game. Punkstar here, he's going with Gaia. Gaia, Gaia now, as you can already see, no longer gets Gaia Lush. This is something you guys are going to go, What? You took up, you nerfed Gaia? How dare you nerf Gaia? My poor Gaia is the worst guy. How dare you? Okay. All right. Drop the pitchforks. Gaia gets access to every time she ages up, she gets a free hero citizen out of your first town center on age up. She gets access to mirror towers in the classical age. And she gets heroes out of her economic guild when she researches tier two and beyond upgrades. That's plow, bow saw, shaft mine, irrigation, carpenters, uh, quarry, and flood control. She gets a hero out based on, obviously you get your infantry, your um, whatever whatever they are, infantry, archer, counter infantry, cavalry, all the, all the ones. It, it kind of makes sense based on the resources that they cost. So you'll be thinking, um, So, this, and the other thing is Gaia also gets a really fun, unique hero. We'll talk about Thor as well in a hot second here, but Gaia also gets a really fun, unique hero in, uh, in Circe. I'll pop this one off. In Circe. So, Gaia also gets a really, really fun, Greek, uh, unique hero there. Uh, Circe has a lightning attack, 20 second recharge on the lightning attack, and a melee hand attack thing. So, it's a bit of a weird unit where you get... You get a you get a lightning attack, and if you want to move in and get more damage done, you've got to start whacking the units there. As uh, as Loki Macro here, you can see he's playing as Thor. He's got his dwarves, costing twenty five food, thirty gold. Uh, and I mean, we'll see how things are going to go for him. But uh, Thor is oh, a little bit of idle time on the town center. Uh, what was he short on there? Must have been short on the gold. You do need to have a fair few uh, dwarves on gold to make the. Uh, to make the classical age work. I'm person I I'm not sure what the best build order is for Thor. I think this is again, I think this is gonna be one of those gods that needs to be put just a little bit of effort into to like relearn build orders because it's a completely different situation spending food and gold than any other civilization at the moment. Like obviously Norse already spends food and gold, but not not for the entirety of the game. So you need to ensure you're getting yourself that amount of resource going through. Alrighty. As the ox cart popping out over here for Loki Macro. Uh, looks like he is going through Freya at the moment. As Punkstar taking his time, not yet going to be advancing. Just wanting to get himself a couple more uh, citizen out now. Gaia, because, or Atlantean in general, two population civilian unit. Very, very different uh, sort of strat strategic ideas for for Gaia in that, and for Atlantean in general, in that advancing at four thirty or four minutes or three minutes fifty five, it's not really all you all you can do. You can go for a, a faster advance time. You can go for in the middle. You can go for at four thirty. You can go for a little bit later. You can go for the later advance time. They're all options now for Atlantean. As we also see some cheeky walls coming up here from Punkstar, nice and early, taking advantage of the fact that only spending two population on a villager to get these walls up is a lot nicer than uh than previously when you spend three population building those walls up so that's going to be uh helping out punkstar quite a bit where that's concerned <clears throat> anyways we'll see how the game's going to go because you do see a long house popping up here for loki macro already got his walls up uh he can also think about dropping this town center up if he really wants we do see the eye of ornlu getting picked up now this one says five percent extra Counter infantry, I believe it was buffed up to 10% extra damage for the counter infantry. Very, very good relic where that's concerned. Um, 
I do not see the relic just yet for Punk Star. Uh, let me have a quick look. There it is. What is it? Scales of Cotoplopus. I know this one does something slightly different. I think this is a bonus to your villager's armor, but I can't 100% remember. Again, these things are going to get updated over the next couple of weeks um, as I know how to do it now. As I know how to do it now. Alrighty. Anyways, Valkyrie, moving across the map for Loki Macro. What else is going on? I'm starting to get those ready. Cavalry out. How are the resources looking here for Loki Macro? He's got himself a decent amount of gold in the bag to continue building his dwarves. Uh, he can build himself Etri and Brock at any point in this game if he so chooses. They do cost 100 gold, but they only take 14 seconds to train. So you're not losing out on a dwarf by building Etri or Brock. You are getting that dwarf out to um, gather resources. Uh, at the same rate it just costs a little bit more so it's not a it's not an economic it's not a bad economical decision to build atri or build brock out of your out of your town center at any point uh it just means you're going to be spending some more resources up front where that's concerned as the uh spider lair has been dropped we do see cersei is out and about look at that look at that one just look at that guy also uh one of the remedy rem remnants of, uh, of some of the patches from Vubli still remaining on uh, on on Gaia in this one. Like the cheaper heroes is also a thing here for Gaia. That might get removed at some point, depending on how strong Gaia is with the uh, with the extra bonuses. But we'll have to wait and see uh, how that all ends up uh, ends up going here as the army of Loki Macro starting to push forward here. Cersei coming in. We do see a bit of a forest fire opening up the map here. Cersei, we're about to see it. Someone's asking the chat what the uh, what the damage of Cersei is. It's a, it's a bit of fun. It is a bit of fun as we do see that special attack comes in. Gets a little bit of damage done. It's honestly really not that much damage on the special attack unless you hit a myth unit. Uh, then it's uh, then it's a big amount of damage. So you really want to be using that. In fact, I am currently on the fence about potentially increasing across the board the amount of damage that the uh, special attacks do because it uh, is it's a little bit underwhelming is my current thought process is the raiding cavalry going to run straight over those spider eggs and loki macro are going to be searching for something to uh to kill here as he's pumping out those dwarves ready to get a town center up here one thing also to remember, the dwarf does is able to build itself a town center on this location as well. That's the raiding cavalry pushing through. Automatons getting some good damage done on the defense. Not only that, you can see that uh, Punkstar here, he's got himself some upgrades already. He's got himself that shaft mine and was rewarded with a catapulty hero. So he's got that one out for free as well. There's a lot of uh, niceties to come through to help Gaia out throughout the game. Uh, and, uh, and let her kind of set up and, and be strong. Set up for success, as it were. Uh, Andrea Pirillo also has... So do Uranus and Kronos also have unique heroes too? Yes, Uranus has got access to Caster, the adult version of Caster with the bash ability. And... Uh, Cronus has got access to Gargorensis, who also has a similar bash ability. Uh, though that one is subject to change if I can work out how to um, how to change it. A term are even worth... Oh, this is something we haven't discussed yet. This is something we haven't discussed yet. The counter barracks is very different for Atlantean. Instead of the counter barracks, the unit's only countering one unit, like the catapulties counters the cavalry, the term counters the archer, the carabalister counters the uh, the infantry. Now, the catapulty gets a small bonus against, um, against, I believe, I'm trying to remember exactly what it is because I know I changed it at some point. So there's a small, I'm pretty sure it's a small bonus against infantry and cavalry. So, sorry, a small bonus against infantry and a big bonus against cavalry. The Terma has got a small bonus against infantry and a big bonus against archers. And the Destroyer has got a small bonus against 
um, cavalry and a big bonus against archer. So you get the destroyer in the counter barracks instead of uh, is this citizen going to be retreating back. You, so yeah, you get the destroyer in the counter barracks. The the Cairo baluster is now a mythic age siege unit, which is very very good, very very good unit there as well. As uh, Punkstar pushing forward, throwing Axman getting some good damage from behind here. P Ma Loki Macro has now got two towns, and Ascardi is on the way. Punkstar, he's hit the Heroic Age, he's gone through uh, Rhea here, so he's got the access to that traitor as well. If he wants to use that, he can steal an enemy unit where that's concerned. As Punkstar attempting to retreat back, we do see the units coming forward to help out here. Plow coming through for Punkster. Lots and lots of uh, wood in the bank. So ready to slam down all those farms if he really wants to. But he does have the uh, the hunt in the middle of the map. So putting the farms out at this point, probably not the uh, the best of decisions. As the town center is coming up for Punkstar as well. Loki Macro looking to grab this one. He does have Brock and E-Tree in his army. Ready to use those against the Automaton here in these fights. I love that idea. Getting those, uh, getting those heroes into the army to get some good damage done onto the onto the myth units of your opponent. Exactly what the unique heroes are supposed to be there for. Uh, another thing that I haven't mentioned just yet is one other special change, which is a very, very strange change, but it's supposed to be a change that allows uh, allows these basically these myth units to function for the entirety of the game. So. Infantry units, infantry myth units, or units that seem like infantry as Punkstar pushes through really, really heavily here. Units that seem like infantry units get a bonus versus cavalry. Units that seem like archers get a bonus versus infantry. And units that seem like cavalry get a bonus versus archers uh, in, inside of those myth units. So those are really, really useful throughout the game. Um, but obviously you also get those unique heroes, which are going to be able to pick them off nice and quickly. So it's a, it's a bit of a game of, can I get the value out of my myth units? Or can I, do I, can I kill the enemy hero? All the good stuff that happens where that's concerned. As the hill fort coming up here for Loki macro houses coming down as well. He's trying to defend himself. Uh, he, I do not see him with a gold. Oh, he's got a gold mine over here. As Punkstar is going to be searching to get that one. Another town center coming up here for Punkstar. These players, it looks like Loki Macro has forgotten his houses here. He's hit the Heroic Age. Can be a little bit hard to remember to do that. You just got to be ready as soon as you hit the Heroic Age. You got another two houses. Chuck them down. Uh, maybe someone nudge uh, Loki Macro and tell him to build his houses. <laughs> as the, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that lightning attack there is going to need a bit of a buff. That one, I feel like it should have done more damage there as the Frost comes through here and this uh brock is and an etri in the back getting a lot of good damage done gonna be able to push punk star back at this moment here as more units piling through we do see the destroyer coming in the destroyer is an interesting one to build not really the most useful of unit against um against norse because i mean cavalry and archers aren't a unit you can actually build we do see the Throw an axe moving forward, attempting to get this town center up. As now we see, oh, the houses! He's remembered! House time. He sees Punkstar with so many more units than him. And he's like, why is that the case? I don't know what's happening here. That's the town center attempting to come up here for Loki Macro. The Ark is going to be putting, attempting to put a stop to it. Loki Macro with lots and lots of food in the bank. We will be seeing Punkstar retreating back here as well. After that, uh... Brutal. Frost has finished. If we take a quick look, we do see the copper mail coming in. It does cost full resources here. So no longer the cheaper copper mail. 150 food, 150 gold. As as it should. Thundering Hooves also coming through for Loki Macro as well. As Punkstar needs to pull back in his... Uh, picked up some good, good dwarf picks over here. 60 villages to 34 villages, kind of favoring Punkstar a little bit in terms of the economy thus far. As Chingley Oracle Hero are going to be pushing off that gold mine there. This uh, gold mine also getting raided by Oracle Heroes. <laughs> Bit of an interesting usage there of those uh, towards this part of the game. As Loki Macro needs to pull back. And I mean, thank you for the prime there, Moody Good. Appreciate you for the support. Thanks so much. 
as Loki Macro is still not able to quite fight here. He's behind by a little bit of population. Is Punk Star missing something? Punk Star 15 population. Does he have fortified town centers? No, he's got three town centers. Oh, so he's got, yeah, he's got 150 pop plus his 15 of the town center. He's missing fortified town centers. That's what he's missing. Okay. Happy days. As Punk Star continues to retreat back here. Loki Macro's army a little bit on the strong side here is. Uh, Punk Star, he is making these destroyers. They are a decent option against the Raiders, but I think the perfect unit to build against Norse is just Catapulties, in all honesty. <laughs> Catapulties pick off both the Cavalry and the uh, and the Throwing Axemen, though. Obviously, the Throwing Axemen are very, very good against those as well, but if you spam out Catapulties, what are you supposed to do? You have to get yourself some myth units or something out. <laughs> So Raiders still push you forward. <laughs> these guys, these guys like, get, I'm getting damaged. Audio file is so funny to me. Spunkstar is not able to hold just yet. This army of Loki Macro is doing uh, absolute work here. As now Loki Macro going to be able to get himself a hill fort, get himself the town center and be in a very good position. Punkstar on the other hand, he should be able to head towards that uh, mythic age relatively soon here as well. As the, uh, as the citizens getting taken down, a couple more military barracks getting thrown up on that position there as well. As Punk Star pulls away. Military barracks getting taken down on that position there as well. And, and what can Punk Star do now? I mean, he's trying... It seems like he's trying to get to the Heroic Age. He's got himself a market up. He's getting himself uh, just a little bit more food in the bank. How's his farms going? He's got a decent amount of farms here. But Punk Star, I mean, I mean, he's got so many resources, just not spending them. Whereas Loki Macro, he's also got so many resources, but he's at full population. So he's in a great position here. We do see a market coming up. So we'll see if Loki Macro wants to try out that Balder again, or if he's going to go for uh, the tier option. Now, we did crash last time with Balder, so hopefully uh, hopefully he goes Balder again, and it's going to be a good testing experience to see if the if the Well of Earth is causing crashes, but we'll have to wait and see. And Balder is the god of choice. Atlas is coming through. Heavy infantry as well coming through for Loki Macro as his town center about to pop here. Counter barracks coming up for Punk Star as well. As the Loki Macro units pulling back Huntress Axe on the way there for Loki Macro. Taking his time. He's in a in a he's in a commanding position, let's be absolutely honest. But and finishing off Gaia is no easy thing. Especially with Atlas coming through. He's gonna be able to take down a lot of units. Monkstar with lots and lots of army here. One of the big changes. Uh, well, I mean, there's a lot of big changes, but one of the big impacts on one of these changes is the fact that there's extra population it means you need to spend more time getting a trade, or earlier in the game getting your trade route out so that you can support that extra population. You, in, in total, you get an extra 40 population on overhaul patch once you get to the Mythic Age. You get four extra houses. So going full army, while it can work, if you lose that army nice and quickly to say something like an implode, Repopulating it, not the easiest thing in the world. As Loki Macro is pushing back in here for the time being. Both players getting dangerously close to that uh, to that mythic age here. As the units of uh, Loki Macro doing work here. We do see the Frost Giant getting converted there though. We just have that E-Tree hero out that can get some good damage done. And we do see... Oh! <laughs> what is <laughs> employed in employed in there's the uh the well of Erd out there as the heroes of ragnarok are going to start pushing forward here lots and lots of uh of units getting sucked in into the employed here is uh loki macro going to be in a little bit of pain but he's now at 180 pop both players have got their fortified towns and they do have to get an extra house down here so they will go up to 200 pop total in this game as the uh, trade route is started for both players Loki Macro also at 80 villages you can only get 80 dwarves here so um, while Odin and Loki can still get themselves 80 gatherers and 40 dwarves 
Uh, Thor can only get 80, ga 80, 80 dwarves out, so he does have a little bit less economy after all is said and done, but obviously that doesn't matter. You can just get yourself a market, start yourself a trade route, no worries where that's concerned. As Loki Macro searching around with these dwarves looking for something to grab. The other thing that we didn't talk about is that dwarves also get access to armory upgrades. So they can, they, they get a lot more survivability in this game as well. So if you want to raid the Thor player, it hurts a little bit more. As we do see the rag heroes popping out. Now you can put a, um, if you click on the wall of earth, you can put a, a, a rally point. Make that work. There's Dwarven Augur coming through. Iron Mail coming through. Uh, portable Rams are really, really good for Thor as well. Also, the Ballast are really, really good. Portable Rams have got more speed in Overhaul Patch. It's something we don't, we haven't really seen yet. And I'm interested to see uh, what Dwarven Augur Portable Rams are going to look like for, uh, for Loki Macro in this game as well. As the uh, Punk Star... He's going to be getting himself some destroyers to try and take out the fire giant. Punkstar does say in that moment. GG as Loki Macro. A little bit too much macro, it seems, for Punkstar here. The economy uh, the economy through the roof. I'm actually interested in what happened here from an economic standpoint. It does look like the, uh, the Norse here, incredibly strong. Uh, destroyer, counters, archers, and cav. Alrighty, well, that's the game. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider the following on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.